So what's going on guys, DIY Dan here, and this is another episode of Backroads Arizona. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to switch one of your air vents on your toy hauler or RV with a metal lid so you never have this happen to you again, especially for me. Because I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and the sun beats the crap out of these things and causes them to crack and break pretty often. So let's get to it. So I got my roof vent off of Amazon and you can go ahead and do the plastic ones as well. I just went with the metal because I don't want it breaking again. If you do get a plastic one, the installation is a little different. You can do it the way I'm doing the metal one or I will tell you the difference at the end of this video for the plastic installation. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is pull down the bottom cover of the vent. Mine had four Phillips screws holding it in place. I took that off. I was kind of surprised with the Phillips screws because usually they are a square head on toy haulers and RVs. Then I removed the crank handle, which I also used a Phillips screwdriver to do that, and it was holding the screen up in place as well. Once getting that down, I removed the two screws that held the cranking mechanism to the bracket. Once removing the screws, you will manually lift the vent and slide the cranking mechanism down where there is an open end and will pop out of the lid. Once you get the cranking mechanism off of the lid, you will need to climb up on top of the roof and take the lid and put it all the way to the open position. Then using a good pair of needle nose pliers, you will need to bend a little metal tab to contour it so it will slide through the hinge assembly. This might take a couple tries to bend it to the correct angle. Once you do, the lid will slide right out of the hinge and you're ready to put the new one back into place. Now all you have to do is grab the new one, slide it back into the hinge, and bend the tabs so they will not slide back out of the hinge. Make sure you bend that tab on both sides of the lid, then close it, go back inside, grab your crank handle mechanism, slide it back up into place, attach it to the lid, then put your screws back in that, now the one advantage to those plastic lids is they let a lot more light in as you can tell because my camera view is not very good compared to what it was when I was taking it off. But again, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona and those plastic ones just don't last. Once I got the two screws tight for the mechanism, I held the screen with the crank handle back up into place and tightened that screw. Once tightening down the crank handle, I went ahead and used it and made sure it opened and closed correctly. Then went ahead and tightened down the four screws holding the cover back into place. And that's all there is to changing out one of these vents. If you decide to just get the plastic replacements, you can do everything from the top of the roof because you basically will slide the hinge into place and then assemble the cover to the hinge using nuts and bolts instead of having to go inside and take the cranking mechanism down and disconnecting it from the lid. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good information. If so, hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got all kinds of DIYs and my main goal of my channel is not to waste your time and save you guys money by doing things yourself. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Later.